a very good morning to one and all now we are trying to understand more about forecasting of exchange rates and its importance so just a quick recap till now we are talking about foreign exchange market we are trying to understand something on quotations then we understood something called direct quote and indirect quote then we also spoke about bid price and ask price then we had a discussion on spot market and forward market now when you have all those things as a trader as an investor what are you trying to aim your aim is can i get profit how do you get profit you will analyze the trend for example you are starting a business will you start a business suddenly you will not why because you are investing money so how do you do it you have a plan for example uh, selling of products online that is your business plan but had you started this without understanding is there a guarantee for success the answer is no why are you going for this online business because you see you forecasted that the online industry is going to grow at say for example 30% that forecasting is your business stimulus that indicated you boss don't go for the traditional brick and mortar business go for click and brick model so you have a small office that is for enquiry and support but majority you have click that is through net so you have a wechat you have a communication helpline you have a email facility all those things 24 bar 7 365 days so any customer across the globe he if you have a query he can post it you can call them back you can reply them back this is e online model but all these things is because the platform or the online trend is increasing then only you are also investing same is the case in foreign exchange market everybody said this is good but you will also do a calculation that if i buy us dollar today will i get profit or can i make profit how do you do it you take the past one year data or six months data of us price you see what is the trend is it growing or declining or how is the path then you do a forecast if i put it on a three month future or three month forward can i get it all those things are very important that technique is called time series model so you take the time over a period of time you see that then you check out the forecasting technique normally this is what is done especially in our studies that is international finance and majority if you are taking time as a factor you normally call it as time series model which is very powerful very important to understand what is the importance of doing a forecasting or why are you doing this forecasting we just said there one introduction more than that you want to know what is the risk how the market is reacting to such things so over the last 6 months when the us dollars went up what happened when the us dollars crashed what happened what is the probability of all these things what is the reliability what is the accuracy how better i can do it for that right now there are online it's not online it is all paid softwares which you can use it for time series analysis or let me just give you one simple tool there is something called gretel g r e t l that is a download free download package it is not a cost it is actually gui and i think it is linux based so it is uh, pure uh, free you can uh, use it in any system package which means any of your application will work there there it, time series modeling it is the best so just google more on gretel and get an understanding if you are re really interested obviously that would be the best thing to learn and get a hang of it so all those things it will tell you how much reliable your predictions are to what extent you can agree to this prediction disagree to this prediction all these softwares will give you indications now this already we have said exchange value is done as a point of time so today the exchange rate between us dollar and indian rupee is 66 rupees tomorrow it could be 68 or 
day after tomorrow it could be 61 or 59 whatever it is it is all demand and supply forces so it is beyond our talks or our uh, dialogues that it will grow it will decline that is why you do a time series analysis now more than the time series there are lots of factors which is influencing the prediction model so uh, in that we should understand what are the various factors that influence the exchange rate first one is the interest rate second one is the inflation rate third one is the level of income fourth one what is the control of the government fifth one what is the market speculation what is the market talking about so let us go one by one interest rate interest rate easy understanding if the interest rate are higher automatically the demand for the currency will reduce which means you have to pay more so the demand reduces and thus the trade also reduces vice versa if the interest rate is lower automatically there will be high demand which followed by a high trade so interest rate is very closely related or one of the major factor that influence your exchange rate determination inflation rate inflation rate higher the inflation the demand for the currency reduces so inflation rate is also negatively related same way inflation rate can what it will happen if the inflation rate increases it could be because there is more supply than demand or there is more demand than supply any situation can supply greater than demand can increase the de inflation rate and demand greater than supply can decrease the inflation rate income level income level will also again higher income level positive for the economy and automatically the currency lower income level will negatively affect the economy automatically or demand for the currency also decreases so change in the income level will affect the interest rate why automatically if your income level is increased you will be investing and your interest rate will be attractive in turn the exchange value so more income you will have more money you will be investing automatically this in turn will result in a better exchange rate determination government control liberal approach so called the current government what they are doing is this they are talking about hassle free environment they are talking about less corruption they are talking about quality of business so all these things they are telling boss come and invest in my country it will be good for you what it will be or why it will be good for you because government influence or government's dialogue on troubling you is lesser or they are telling that we will not trouble you it will be one stop shopping just last few days i was watching the tv i'm sure you would also be seeing in tamil nadu there was something called global investor meet punjab they have introduced something called investor uh, invest in punjab all these things what they are trying to say is please come to my state and invest we will support your business now support means the troubles are lesser so it is one place where you just have to file all the documents which is required for starting a business and immediately the if the all things are fine the green clearance or the green signal is given you can start your business without any trouble Tamil Nadu that is one thing which is very evident in global investor meet so these are all talking about less control of government that can be state or center but when we talk about country we are looking at center so the current Indian government are projecting that we will not be having any issues so please come and make it in India so all these things will support our exchange rate but when the government is restrictive or when the government is conservative we will not allow foreign investment we will not trade with you we don't want you to come to our country automatically that will reduce the demand for the currency automatically lower international value market speculation market speculation is nothing but the expectations or the talks that the future price is going to increase or decrease so 
when there is positive speculation that is what you see in stock markets so when there is a talk or when there is a comment on something on our politicians by uh, something on our country by certain politicians or certain uh, comments can affect the stock market so if you see us for example last one week or so there was a comment like us fed rate will not be decreased because uh, the unemployment level is high automatically you can see our market uh, to be faring on that or happy with that but you cannot expect it is because of that one of the reason is there is a speculation that the other country's market is okay so we will be growing in a faster pace these are all indications for us okay can i go for a trading model or not but when there is a negative speculation when they say come on this year india's growth the positive speculation is india is going to grow at 7.5 percentage which is as projected automatically the demand for the currency increases or the trade is expected to increase but suddenly if there is imf forecast it means international monetary fund they comes out with a news bulletin they say that india is not going to grow as expected that is a shock and you can see on those days or those uh, comments will affect our currency it our currency's demand will decrease because the expectation is somewhat reduced or there is negative speculation this is very common in all markets this is also not specific to international trade